Welcome back to Fold Ride Adventure Crew. There's been a lot of requests to show Sam's 4.0 Jeep, the ZJ, but that's been sitting collecting dust because he's been wheeling his new Jeep, the uh, 5.9 ZJ. So Sam's here to tell you all about it. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of requests uh, for me to do a walk around of my uh, 5.9 ZJ. You guys might have seen my walk around my 4.0, if not, just give me a link, you guys can check it out. Um, top right or left corner, uh, whichever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my uh, new addition to my family. This is my second ZJ. So the first one is 4.0, this is 5.9. Um, it is. It has six, point, uh, six or seven inch lift. Um, it is rocking 35 inch tires for now. Um, and I say for now, because there will be upgrades going forward. Um, I do have Dana 44, uh, G2 axle in the front. Rear is stock, uh, Dana 44, uh, Dana 30, uh, 44A. Um, so, and then uh, I'll just give you a little bit of run uh, rundown of what I have uh, going on with this Jeep. All right, so we're in this vehicle, we do have a couple upgrades. It is 5.9, so it does have a upgraded uh, PCM on it. It is also has a uh, Magnum Flow exhaust, three inch exhaust going from front to back. It has up upgraded headers on it. It does have upgraded disc brakes on it. The rear Dana 44A does have a rebuild LSD for it as well. The front, like I mentioned, does have uh, Dana 44 on it. It's a G2 axle upgraded discs and upgraded brakes so this uh zj also has a rock hard 4x4 front and rear bumpers it also has a iro gas tank skid plate in the rear as well zj also has upgraded front headlights it they are custom made and it's uh, with hid uh, headlights as well so it does definitely help um, when you're off-roading uh, iron rock off-road long arms front and rear so this uh, this puppy sitting on uh, good uh, quality uh, long arms so this zj also has a 4a gears and a uh, front and back um i will be upgrading that very soon i am planning to go 37s on this one um so i'm thinking about putting five 538s gears on this zj uh, it has a lot of power, plenty of power to handle bigger tires and uh, frankly why I wanted to wheel this and got to get a feel for it as well. Uh, other than that, everything else, interior is stock, uh, basic leather interior. Um, it does have upgraded sound system uh, for music and so forth. Uh, but other than that, everything's pretty, uh, pretty uh, generic. A lot of upgrades are being done on the outside um, versus the interior. <laughs> Uh, motor so forth it also has a bigger tank for the transmission with a cooling pipes going through it uh, that also helps me to run more transmission fluid in it and gets cooled a little better with that as well so the reason why i bought a second zj i think i have a problem <laughs> first of all um i definitely enjoy uh riding or enjoying wheeling my 4.0 great uh, jeep amazing it has six inch lift you guys saw the video um it's full it's capable we ran through rubicon with it multiple trails it's amazing right all the way around the reason why i wanted this if i wanted to go higher tires which i do 37s possibly 40s the 4.0 will have harder time taking that jeep from the streets of sacramento to a trail where we're going if i'm running 37s or even 40s on 5.9 that has a lot more torque and a lot more power to get my jeep from sacramento to the trail have fun on the trail and drive it back um so i uh, i do have still have some plans for 4.0 uh in, com in coming future but for now i'm enjoying my 5.9 it does have quite a bit of power uh it's a lot of fun it's a v8 i'm a big guy I like big cars big engines and this suits me really well um but uh, not yeah there's more to come more uh, upgrades and uh yeah, stay tuned, like and share this video. If you guys have questions, let us know. Um, and then, yeah, just uh, catch us uh, out here on the trails.